I'm pretty sure this is the first time in Buff Bunny history that they're collaborating with themselves. Just when you thought you saw it all, they're coming out with a collaboration with their very own grounds app. We got fall colors galore, lots of mochas, chocolates, coffee, ooh, salted caramel. I just made that up, but basically that's what I'm feeling right here. If you guys are familiar with their grounds app, this is pretty much the color scheme of that app. And perfect timing considering the ember months are officially here. We were begging for colors like these. I know at least I was. So we have this collection dropping September 7th, 2 p.m. EST. Gata for 10% off and to help support this channel as always. If you're unfamiliar with the grounds app, you need to check it out. This is basically Heidi's fitness app. Every big major influencer in the fitness industry typically has their own fitness app. So this is Heidi's version. She does it very, very well. And what's really Really cool is that her trainers are her actual athletes that she works with full-time. If you guys are looking for a fun app that you can follow along with, you also learn a lot throughout it, they teach you how to work out. It's like having a buddy, a fitness pal to work out with. There's a ton of different workouts to choose from. They have a really nice way of tracking your progress as well. Also gives you great ideas in and out of the gym, spice up your workout game, and it really holds you accountable. So definitely check it out. I'll have it linked down below. And my code Gata actually works for the fitness app as well, so you'll get a discount if you choose to try that out. And let me know if you are a part of the Grounds app, what are your thoughts? I wanna know, let's talk about it. My very first selections when it came to everything they're dropping, unfortunately 90% of them wouldn't be arriving here in time for the drop. So they sent me my secondary options, <laughs> which are still really great, but they weren't my top picks. I'll have overlapping the entire brief of what's dropping. Of course, you know I got you. I want you guys to know what to expect for this drop. But just know, just know that my first picks were like the bandeau tops. I always got to try bandeau when that's involved. The aggressive scrunch legging. Now I have everything in my true size small. Here are my measurements. Just let it percolate right here. Did I say that right? Percolate, percolate. Just let it stew here for a second, okay? You'll be tested on it afterwards, so really let it sink in. What size is everything in today's video? Now, I have everything in my true size, small. All right, guys, now I'm not actually gonna be doing any gym tests in today's video. I can barely bend over, right? I'm actually stuck in this position as we speak. No, but seriously, I actually hurt my back the other day <laughs> really bad. I've been needing Bay's help to get my leggings up. <laughs> Shimming it up my... Oh no. I overdid it in the gym. Why, how, how you ask? Because I just tried to squat, that's why. My scoliosis said, nope, not today, bitch, Fuck you. And last night we decorated for fall and to me, this is like the happiest time of the year and I'm sitting here freaking limping my way around the house trying to decorate. It sucked. But anyways, <laughs> I'm not gonna let it affect today's video. We're gonna have a damn good time. But yeah, so no gym test in today's video. I cannot. Let's go ahead and start with what I'm wearing. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think the Dream Heather contrast pieces are gonna be a big hit in this drop. Now, I actually grabbed two sets, the bone color and the coffee color. I don't know if it's coffee. I'm just going ahead and grabbing, I'm gonna espresso. And then one in cold brew. Obviously cold brew had to come home with me. This was a top pick from the get go because of that color contrast, like yeah, hell yeah. You got the light brown and the dark brown tones. Up close, you can see the heathered marl design. You can especially see it on the darker cold brew color. And then what really sold me on these pieces, the contrast seams. Let's look at the bra first. Okay, I am wearing my true size small. It fits so well, nothing's digging. It's actually super straightforward. There's no adjustments. It actually slopes down and angles really beautifully. So it almost looks like a butterfly look. What would you look at this and think? Uh, floating ribs is what I would is floating what Floating ribs is what you came up with when looking at this back. Well, that's what it looks like. Right here, these are your floating ribs. If someone hits you there, you're in trouble. Ow, my back. I actually really love this angle because it looks like, like curtains that are just draping. Ooh, yeah. Curtains, yeah. There's no actual band under here, but these seams are fairly thick. I feel like there's a nice moderate support. Still got those removable bra pads. And it's a moderate coverage too, so it's not super duper showy. But of course you see a little something that's a little, a little showy. Straps are really comfortable. You got a nice amount of stretch in this baddie. I really love the light bone color with the white. It's very fresh take. If you're somebody who's like, I'm not into those dark fall colors, girl. It's okay, I get it. Check out this bone color. For my girlies who are in their very beige, very minimal, very vanilla era, okay? That's like that soft beige vibe on Instagram we see everywhere. This would fit that aesthetic beyond belief. Vanilla era, venera. <laughs> 
Shut the fuck up. I'm a poet, baby. I actually really like the amount of side boob that's covered here as well. So working out, you should be A-OK, -okay. doing those ab exercises. You're doing all right with this one. Whether you bend, OK, I can't really bend. Pull downs, you'll be just fine. Everything's staying in place nicely. Ow. Ooh. Ow! Whoa! Dude, this is shit was this. Now guys, if you're unfamiliar with the heathered pieces, they're really thick and insulating. You could totally work out in these, but I'm just warning you, you're gonna work up a sweat real quick. They're actually perfect, perfect timing here because full, getting that brisk ass weather, the heathered leggings will be your actual best friend. So before I try these on, I just wanna let you guys know, I actually paired it with the thread sweatpants. Let me lower you real quick so you can see. I have been asked time and time again, girl, why aren't you getting your hands on these thread sweats? What's up with that? I don't know. Because I always selected other things other than sweats because I'm like, you know what? I have enough sweats. I'm good. Let me get other cute pieces. But this time around, because like I said, like my first selects, a lot of them wouldn't get to me in enough time. So I made a secondary selects. This was one of them. I said, you know what? Let me try these sweats. My girls really recommend them. And dude, I can see why. I can definitely see why. So this is in the color bone as well. It will look a little different, okay? Because this is a heathered marl, so it looks a little darker up top than the actual bone color down below. There's a slight oversized fit, nothing crazy. It's a straight leg, so there's no tapering, nothing like that. They went with the really nice high quality embroidered logo. I actually like the crossover band for these sweats. Tons of room beautiful cozy plush liner it's the coziest thing and there's a nice minimal stretch pretty decent so when i'm moving around it's like being freaking naked which is my favorite thing in the world two pretty decent sized pockets you know the drill just slip it in and pop a squat there you go so really nice sized pockets let me sit down and see yeah you'll be fine yeah nice sized pockets my big ass phone fits in it thanks so if you're looking for a comfy, cozy sweatpant for the fall time, check this one out. Pretty sure it might come in darker colors too. It's coming in bone, cold brew, and onyx black. Yes. If I could do this all over again, I get the cold brew, that dark brown. I really wish I did that for the fall time, but this is cute because I wanted to pair it with this top and I thought it would look cute accessorized too. They're dropping the breakthrough belt bag. I grabbed it in the color bone just to matchy match. Of course, you could wear it this way or you can obviously wear it around your waist. This might look really cute like this. Mm, I wish, I freaking wished, now that they're coming out with comfy, cozy pieces that they came out with jackets and things like that, hopefully that's to come. I think if in between you want a little more space, you can size on up, why not? It's not gonna fold down, it's not that oversized. But if you're somebody who wants it a little tighter, I think you can get away with it if you wanted to size down it, if in between. This tree just about ruined my day. We got this fake fall tree from Amazon from the brand Nearly Natural, in case you're interested. It smells so bad. I mean, like, terrible. It smells like death and decay. I can't even describe it. Thank goodness for you, baby. I'm trying to smell cranberries in my life, not whatever that is. Bay's on the floor about to pass out from the smell. <laughs> My eyes are literally watering from it. It's filling the room. So a few things about these leggings. I do find this cut super flattering, especially for gals like me, where I have virtually no torso. This helps elongate it, okay? I need all the help I can get. Are you kidding? This is really nice. Again, the contrast seems absolutely work here. I'm getting warrior princess vibes. Don't ask why, it just came to me and that's what I'm going with. So overall, beautiful set, like I said, insulating, very supportive actually, believe it or not. I'm giving it a moderate, almost higher support. With that being said, it does sandwich in my glutes quite a bit. They're not really popping like they usually do, saying like they're butter fabrics and things like that, but it's okay. I do kind of plan to wear this, say, with a plaid jacket or something like that. For the fall time, I don't necessarily plan to show out my glutes in these. These heathered leggings actually do have a built-in scrunch internally. So it's a very discreet natural scrunch. It definitely does do a little something, but again, because these are so snug and compressive, I feel like it sandwiches my glutes in quite a bit. And I do still get a camel toe even with underwear. I think it's a little too tight. If in between you had 100% half the size up, I'm thinking next time around, I'm this close to sizing up altogether. Don't know just yet. I feel like it really just depends on the day here. I can't wait to try on the brown though. The brown is where it's at. This is screaming full. Full. Just, it's a lot of work getting these up. Uh -huh. It's quite a bit of work 
to get these up. I know my back's acting up, but woo, Bay was helping me and uh, a lot of shimmying involved. I think I like the brown a little bit more. I think it's more practical for me, especially me being a sloppy hoe. I feel like if I were to drop food or something on myself, I'm good. So something I like though, is the fact that the seams here don't add that extra dig. Even though the whole legging's fairly compressive, right here's not terrible. I feel like it could have been a lot worse. I still think it's flattering. There's no ultra digging right here. Of course, if you're bending slightly, like you're gonna get some bulging. It's the cut. So my overall thoughts with this set, the bra can get a little tricky. I obviously think if you're in between size up, just so that nothing's pinching in too much specifically in this area. However, I do notice there's quite a bit of extra room right here, right on the side. So I feel like I need to bring this in slightly to make it fit a little bit more true to size because now the sizing can get a little, little all over the place. So if you were to size up, now you're gonna have extra wing space here, all right? But if you size down, I do feel like this is gonna just be whew, bulging a little bit too much. I think the glutes look better in the darker color. I think the glutes just pop a little bit more. Also, you can see the color better. So it's a, just more of a, a flattering color, especially for my skin tone. I just think this is blending well and really working for the fall theme I'm going with. So I think I'm gonna get the most use out of this darker pair. Length is pretty great as well, five foot three, and it's working. Now, my only downfall to this is I would say, you're gonna trap heat, not the end of the world if it's chilly or cool out, or if you're gonna work out in these in a cold gym. If you're somebody who just wants to stay toasty, then I do think you're gonna love these. But again, you gotta like more of a moderate to higher compression. And I do believe it's the internal scrunch on the back here pulling through, which is why I can't really fully avoid the dreaded CT in these. It's gonna happen. One way or another, it's gonna poke on through. Large cozy hoodie, some Uggies. This is a great thermal legging. Ooh, this is a very pretty color. Okay, so I actually did a little a mixy. We have the Dream Heather square neck bra and the Waterfall Seamless Light. Oh damn. They're super duper 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 sheer. But damn, if they didn't just part the seas. This is a scrunch freaking bum, dude. The color matter. It's a really pretty full color if you're not into the dark deep browns. So real quick, Heather Sports Bra, let's break it down. So we have some seams that curve around the bust. Pretty thick seam right at the under bust, no band. Just double layer material covering the rib cage. And then right on the back, we have two adjustable crisscross straps. I feel like for me, this is almost as a crop top, but again, short torso. Now I know this is heathered and this is not. I actually grabbed the heathered flares to go with this, but seeing as I don't have anything else to match, I think it still blends nicely, obviously. They're still the same color, so what the heck. You have removable bra pads, about a moderate support. In between, totally size on up though, definitely. If this was any tighter right here at the seam at the under bust, I would just scream. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay now, it gives it the support it needs, but anything tighter, I'm just gonna be like, nah, dude, I gotta size up a full size. Cause even with these adjustable straps, it doesn't change the tightness that I feel here. Not terrible right now. All day wear, I do think that this is going to create a crease right here. That's for sure. So if you want a more comfortable fit, especially if you're in between, possibly size on up. I don't think this area will be too big on me. I think it's pretty snug as it is. I think sizing up would be okay. I think we need to talk about these freaking leggings though. Straight up did not know what to expect when I got these in because the waterfall leggings are brand spanking new to Buff Bunny collection. I wasn't sure, like I saw the ribbing. That's about all I saw. So I was like, is this gonna be like material girl leggings? Except seamless. Putting them on, they are like the Gymshark lift where it's very compressive right here where you see that ribbing, heavy compression, zero compression here on the glutes, basically a glute emphasis legging. I don't really know where the term waterfall came from. You have about a moderate compression here, doesn't cinch in, it's very flattering around the waist. Basically where there's a rib, there's compression. So you have a little bit of lower tummy control. It's specifically right here around the quads. The back of the leg is where I feel the most compression. It's there just to sandwich you in, give zero, zero compression here, just to make the glutes really pop out of the legging. That's what it's there for. Then of course the scrunch divides the cheeks. I mean, it's doing its job for sure, but this is so, so ridiculously thin that it's, it's just sheer. Like squatting down, 
Yeah, like it shears out pretty badly. This is the type of legging that's gonna take some work to get on because it's so tight right here. Once you get it right where it needs to be, all right, so this needs to sit right under the glutes, right underneath it so that they pucker out. I do feel like with this material, it runs the risk of sliding down ever so slightly. I put this where it needed to be underneath the glutes and as I'm walking and bending and moving, it made its way down a little bit. They actually noticed it before I did. So for as hard as they were to get up, you shouldn't really have to try to keep them up. I think it has to do with this waistband. I think a tapered waistband would have been a little bit better just to ensure that it will stay up a little bit better. It's very boxy, so I don't think there's enough grip See, like I just feel like it's slowly gonna make its way down. Especially if you're doing an extensive, long weight training workout, you're squatting a ton. I just feel like it's gonna be one of those leggings that feel like they're pulling down a little bit. Um, this is reminding me a little bit of their snatched seamless legging. It has that same material where I feel like it slowly just wants to shimmy and slide around a bit. But the flattering aspects, yeah, I would say it's super duper flattering. In terms of the actual scrunch though, it is very comfortable. It's not invasive, I don't feel it. It's not like a stiff scrunch. It looks very natural too on the glutes. So there's a lot to love about this legging. I just think in terms of performance, there might be certain aspects that you struggle with. I'm not getting a camel toe, which is great. I have my undies on nice and smooth down there. But yeah, I think the only thing that's really getting to me is the fact that right here at the under booty, see that? That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be literally right up there. That's where it should be. But then it comes pretty high and I can feel it moving around. So I do think these will slide a little bit over time to get them where they need to be. I've had to adjust them maybe four times so far. So just be mindful of that. If you're thinking about grabbing these, other than that, they're very, very flattering leggings and the color is gorgeous. Now let's check out the sweat here. I have a feeling this is gonna show sweat because it's fairly thin. So some dripping sweat. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. Not really detecting sweat at all. A little bit, ever so slightly, right? Pretty dry, okay. So it's very, very breathable and it's gonna keep you fairly dry, these leggings. Depending on how much you sweat, will determine how much sweat you actually see. According to the brief, these are a 24 inch inseam, but when worn, they stretch out to be about a 26 inch inseam. We're gonna try on the Dream Heather flares real quick. This is their first time actually doing a flares version of this Dream Heather, but check this out. Oh my God. So like right here, wowza. This is gonna be interesting. Ooh, okay. I like the bell bottoms, check it. That's a heavy bell bottom too, huh? This isn't just a flare. I'm seeing bell bottoms, okay? Look at that wideness. It's got girth, baby. Yeah, there's some width to this. 30 inches, 32 inches, and 34. Short, regular, and tall. Pretty sure I asked for the short at 30 inches and it's still a few inches too long, man, all right? That is the story of my whole existence. At this point, I'm used to it, okay? Woe was me. Overall, very simple. I think that the thickness of the heather material adds some gathering of the material on the back of the leg. You can see that from far away, nothing insane, but it's very common for flares, so no shade there. What's crazy is I'm not getting a dreaded CT in these, but the other heathered leggings, I did. So don't know what's going on with that. I find it amazing that this stretched out enough to fit. How about it? Just wanna share with you guys. So if you were to sweat in these, this is what it would look like. Okay, I obviously just poured water out of here. How did that even happen? So right here is about the gist of what you'll see if you sweat profusely. <laughs> the heathered marl really helps to mask it though, I have to say, but it does dry your skin well. I say this in all my videos, it's like a bounty quicker picker rubber. Literally, it feels like a paper towel. Whoa. Deep V ribbed tank. That's hot shit. One of, if not the most flattering buff bunny tops. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that for sure. I'm feeling all the grab and push here. This is a push-up bra in a nutshell. If you wanna wear this with a cute little maxi skirt or something, you could. Working out, sure. But I wouldn't, I would not, that's too daring. Now, if you look up close, there's a ton of ribbing. This seam is angled 
So I think that's what's allowing it to get pushed up in the middle here. There's no elastic band. You see that curve? Cute, flattering, they do that a lot. Lots of curves everywhere. And the full on back is nice. You don't have to worry about anything pinching around. I think this deep V is something else. It really is. The cold brew color, very dark, almost looks black in this screen, it's so dark. I actually mixed and matched and paired it with the Aura shorts. You guys remember these shorts? They look so familiar, don't they? Inner lights, anybody? Do you guys remember the inner light? Now they have it in the cold brew slash grounds color. There's no pockets or anything. This is a six inch inseam. I feel a slight dig, but it's not that bad. There's zero changes from the last time they dropped these shorts zero. So it's the same material. It's a light to moderate compression. This is the new brie fabric. Okay. So again, nothing has changed. It's a very soft, almost like yoga shorts. There's no scrunch bum. So it's very subtle on the glutes. This is like that bodycon look, you know, it gives that silhouette. Wanted to throw this on here to give you guys an idea of how mix and matching throughout these collections are going to look. Now you could easily grab a cold brew in say this top and then grab the cold brew grounds in the bottoms and it's going to look different because of the different material makeup. So the new brie has more of a dusty look to it. This is a little more faded, whereas the cold brew seems a little more dark brown, definitely more rich, like straight up top soil in this ribbed V crop top. Gonna go ahead and grab the heathered just so you can see how all of the same cold brews look. Again, cold brew, cold brew, cold brew. Again, material and design can really alter the look entirely. So I did not see this coming, but I'm pretty sure this is my favorite piece out of all. The pieces that I did share with you, I know a lot of them were the same thing, like the heathered legging. I feel like they went really hard on that. I guess fall time they're preparing. So if you're in need of some comfy, cozy leggings, flares, this is the collection you're gonna wanna shop, especially considering the color palette. I think it's spot on for full. I'm definitely never gonna sleep on this bra again and the Threads sweatpants. Learn my lesson. I'm gonna get more of those Threads sweatpants for sure. Comment down below your thoughts on this drop. I love you guys. We'll catch you in our next video. Yeah, if you could bring this plant in here. If you could just put it right, oh. perfect. Thank oh you. Oh my God, it smells like a, like a crypt. It just smells very, very old. Like it's, it's been in a basement for like two decades. Oh. I think I'm gonna- It smells gonna... like a crypt. Like, like, like- A coffin? A coffin. How do you know what a coffin smells like? Hey, I've been around. How come the top of the tree looks more bountiful than the bottom? Do you notice that? Because it was a cheap Amazon purchase. Do, but do you see what I see? And the top's a little fucked up. I actually have to- Oh yeah, that looks stupid. It looks like someone sat on it. Oh my God. This is why we were getting headaches yesterday.